Welcome everyone, we have the official news and this just came out about 2 minutes ago. This is the version update for patch 2.1. So I haven't went through everything myself, let's go through this one together and I'm quite excited. Because the first thing is we can see the patch will be lasting for 5 hours and it's the same date. It is 6am UTC which will become 8am for me in my Australia time. I'll be making a countdown video for us very soon which shows us when the patch starts the update and when it finishes the maintenance. And as usual, we'll be getting 600 primal gems. So the compensation will be for the maintenance and also for the bug fix. So there will be 300 over here and 300 in the bug fix. So the scope of compensation, hmm. Oh, here, this is nothing major. So this is basically for those that can get the primal gems. Now the update version will come with two new islands and we've heard about this before with the live stream. So to unlock those islands, you have to finish those main quests and also be adventure level 30 plus. There will be a new domain, or new domains actually. So let's have a look at this. The new domains with the Radiant Shogun, let's have a look unlock after the doing the main quest. There'll be two domains. So notice this one here, the this one on each of the islands, I believe. This one in the palace, this one on the Nakunami Island. And for those particular domains, we'll have a look. This should be giving us a new set of artifacts and also new items. I definitely did not look into the future content for that, so I actually don't know what artifacts we'll get. We'll come back to this for sure once the game comes out, once the version comes out. The new system of the game will be for fishing. And fishing will be interesting because you can exchange items with the different NPCs within fishing. And I'll make a detailed guide on this one to show you guys how to find those fish and also how to exchange them for the teapot and also for different questing. I do believe there's a fishing event as well which will give us more primal gems. So definitely stay tuned for this one. So I believe in each of the cities there will be an NPC that exchange fish for different useful materials. So fishing is just not just not just for fun, you can also get additional rewards, which could be really good. We do know that there will be new characters joining us. The first character will be Radiant Shogun plus Sarah, and those are the two electro characters on the first banner. And after that, the second banner will come with Kokomi, and Kokomi will be the Hydro Catalyst user for the Priestess. There will be a new free character with Oi. I will be trying to see if I can find a way to get the free character even though we don't have a PS4 or PS5. I know it might sound a little hard, <laughs> but what I'm trying to do is Maybe we can find a friend with a PS4 or PS5. Get them to log in for us for once and just get the character. I'll definitely try this out when the patch comes out. So very excited. And as for you know the explanation over here, everyone lo logging into the PS4 will get a free 5-star character with Oi. But if you don't have the PS4 or PS5, you can still get her after patch 2.2, so after 42 days. There will be new weapons, so we have seen those new weapons in my previous video. So there's actually four new weapons, actually five new weapons, plus the catalyst. So we don't have to go through those in too much details. There will be a number of new events. So the new events, I believe there's about 2,200 new primal gems to be collected in those events, which will be pretty nice. So we can see the new events. Wait, 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 wait. what did I say? There's three fates. So here is the 10 witch summons event. So the first day, the third day, the 5th day and also the 7th day. This is a 7 day login event for 10 free wishes. And I do believe this will be one of the special login event for the anniversary of Genshin Impact. Which does seem to be a little less, right? So this is the login event. You can see the 7 days for the fates. Now if we keep going, we can see the new Archon quest and also new side quest and also new world quest. There's actually a bunch of them. So this is what I think the majority of the new primal gems might come in. I believe the Archon quest will give us at least 60 to 120 Primal Gems and the new Story quest will give us another 60 to 120 Primal Gems. So on the plus set, we can be getting 240 Primal Gems. And let's say if we do happen to get 30 or 60 Primal Gems for the side quest, there's a bunch of them. So I'm estimating to be about maybe 400 Primal Gems from the main stories because there's a lot of them. This will be a major thing and I believe most of them will be unlocked after the patch comes out. So the first half of the patch will be about Inazuma. The second part of the patch will be celebrating the Moon Festival with Leering Harbor, which will be really good. And I do think this theme will also go into patch 2.2 with celebrating and also reruns of characters. Now as we keep going, we're going to see the new monsters with Shinyara, with the Hydro Hypostatus, the Thunder Manifestation and also Spectres. 
On the videos of the countdowns, I'll go through those characters in more details. Because we know Shinara will be a Hydro and also Pyro character. Yes, she's gonna switch elements. Unlike Child, who only have one, Child's got two elements. He's got Electro and also Hydro, right? So Shinara is gonna be Cryo and also Pyro. We'll talk about her in more details as well. We we'll might make a guide for her as well. But she will be pretty interesting. And additions, other additions. And a new mechanics whereby there's a probability to trigger a character's voice that related to treasure chests when they open a treasure chest in the open world. That's pretty cool. You know who's the best for treasure chests? Klee, right? Klee's like, look what Klee found. It's a little lizard. And also a big chest. There's a number of new recipes which will be, which will be really good because we also want to offer the food for one of the food event. Let's have a look at the achievements. There's one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Five. Oh, this is a different category. So usually for achievements, we're looking at about 150 to 250 unaccounted primal gems. So if we add this one with the primal gems from the from the main quest and also the side quest, we're looking at about 400 to 600 primal gems. Those are less accounted for, and those are additional primal gems we can look into. So new animals. <laughs> oh, that's something nice. Those animals don't fight back, I think. Lots of new fish as over here, as we can see. There's a pool of Sephora Grace. Oh, this is a fishing pool. There's a new bundle. Hmm, interesting. I'll definitely have a look at the pricing of those bundles because all the double double Primal Gems purchase is coming back and also a lot of different pricing. So what I want to do is I want to make a special video Excel to show you what are the best package in the game if you do plan to spend your money. The new spiral abuse. Oh, this one's changing. So floor 11. When enemies are defeated, all members are affected by corrosion stats. So this is a debuff, I believe. Character being corroded lose a fraction of the HP per second. Active characters can be brought down by corrosion. And no active characters less than 15%, they no longer lose HP. To oh, so this actually forces us to have a healer on the Spire Abuse for floor 11. Because no matter how strong you are, even with a shield, you still lose HP. Because no activated characters will lose the HP, even if they're not on the team, not, not on the board. So. This definitely favors a healer. Someone that heals the whole team like Jin with her burst ultimate, someone like Bennett, someone like Barbara can be better. So corrosion lasts for 10 seconds. The duration is counted independently. Let's have a look at floor 12. For this floor only, they will be normal. That's that's good. So there'll be a few different phases. So the phase one of the spire abuse is that all members will gain increased attack by 6.5% with seven stacks. This will give us to 45% close to that, 48%. And when character's normal, attack launch is a shockwave on enemy, deals heavy damage. What? Oh, so this is after Elemental Burst. I was like, something's missing. So after, you know, Raiden Shogun cast Elemental Burst, we know what's gonna happen. She's gonna hit very hard, she's gonna release AoE. Perfect, right? So the second phase. For 10 seconds after character uses Elemental Burst. Well, that's Raiden Shogun again. Normal attack will recreate a shockwave at a cost of 1% of the HP dealing AoE damage. This can be clear, the shockwave can be unleashed on enemy every one second and can make do not as Oh, this one is interesting. You know, when I'm thinking about this one, Hu Tao can be used very useful on this one. Hu Tao or maybe Xiao. I mean, Xiao doesn't like the loss of HP. But for Hu Tao, when she casts her burst optimum, she heals, right? And then she loses more of her HP afterwards. And this kind of help her to go down below 50%. So that would be nice. Uh, different resetting. Oh, while well, we're looking to this, no change. Oh, no change yet. No change to reset. So let's have a look at adjustments and optimizations. So the top up is double again. So this means if you buy the top up for the first time, you will have the double purchase. Uh, top up not being used does not accumulate. Oh, this is telling you guys that if you don't buy the top up now, you don't get a double double chance. You know they don't accumulate. So Stars Reunion, I actually held this one. So this one gave about 500 free Primal Gems if you don't log in for 14 days. But that's not worth it, guys. Uh, different path, unlocking. Oh, let's see, accumulate points. Uh, that's pretty interesting. And this is a homework path. I think this is a part of the Stellar Reunion. I don't think this is too major for us. Uh, oh, this is still within the Reunion. So don't worry about that too much. Let's see, keep going, adjusting for optimizing animations for Kazuha. Okay, when characters are attacked while immune to some damage, the shield absorption will not decrease. So this is for better improvement of the gameplay for us, which is actually really good. The increase, uh, I don't think there's nothing major here. I'm looking for the final parts, if there's anything that's hidden. Others, added height 
uh, optimized for the quest, optimized at this promos process, adjust for adventure level recipes, further details. So this is a preview of the patch. Let's see what are the comments. Me hope you find more missions, find more gems, find more happy. So let's have a quick summary. What this particular patch note says is those are the changes that new features come into the game. What is most important to most of us are the primal gems. So it is guaranteed to get 600 primal gems, 300 from the maintenance, 300 from the bug fix. After that, because we know there will be a lot of the quest over here, we can see that, oh, where did it go? <laughs> uh, a lot of the main story quest over here, we can estimate to have at least 200 to 400 primal gems for all of those quests. With 60 each over here, maybe 30 each over here. And finally, we can see the new achievements, which will be categorized in those categories. I'm estimating at least 150 to 250 primal gems. So in total, we can get a bonus of 400 to 600 primal gems together with this whole, you know, the whole patch update. So we can look into close to 1,200 1, primal gems on the first day of the patch. If you guys are looking for Radiant Shotgun, this can be a boost of primal gems. And I think that's everything for the summary. Very excited. I'll be making my next video for the countdowns and also additional tips. Like, you know, the tips on Shinyara, how to you know, defeat her with different potions, and also tips on different monsters, how to prepare for the new patch. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Very excited. And we'll be having a small live summoning stream for Radiant Shogun when the patch comes out. And fingers crossed, I win my 50-50. I don't have my 50-50 at all. I don't have any primal gems. So it's going to be difficult. So let's see. Let's see how we go. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next video. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips and news and even updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with sketching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.